show go nigga. What's going on? It's your boy K Rocks. One hood. We in the building with Ninth Wonder. You know how we get it. What's going on with you, man? What's going on, man? man I can't complain. Doing Something good? Is, yeah, yeah. So what you, a, anything you working on this? Um, right now, man, we just released a, a project called Jamless Squad. Mm -hmm. And Jamless is my label. And it was just released uh, January 28th. Wow. And, um, you know, it's doing fairly well. You know, sometimes you put out music, 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 and you never know what people are going to gravitate to. Right. You might work hard on this one piece, and everybody's like, huh. And then you might, another piece, you're like, okay, let's see what they think about this, and then it kind of takes off. That's so, right. So that's that's um, that's been Jamless Squad. I mean, other than that, it's been um, just me and universities doing university work. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm currently at Duke now. I'm doing a research project for Harvard. Um, to finish up my fellowship for Harvard, boy. but um, other than that, you know, just doing my part, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just really am a stickler for making sure that the culture is taught the right way. Mm -hmm. And I only, I feel that um, in order to teach the culture, you have to come from it. You know, hip hop is one of those things, it's something you can't really pick up in a book, it's something that you have to experience. Right. Whether it be for you being from New York City or whether you being from just listening to records over and over and over the years, hip hop is one of those one of those few phenomena that, that you have to really experience. And and in order to teach it, you know, you have to have be from that experience. You don't have to be from a bad neighborhood, you know, some you know, all of the stereotypes mm -hmm. that come with it, but you have to understand the culture and be a connoisseur of it no matter your race, color, or creed, you know what I mean? So, and it's only um, a few of us um, that can teach it, you know what I mean? So that's why I wanted to make sure it was taught the right way before it ends up in the wrong hands. And that's, uh, and that's, and that, and that's one of the things, you know, it's like a lot of every, so many people want to be rappers, you yeah. know? And it's like, it's like, I, I wonder, a lot of people wonder why are they afraid to rap about relevant things, rap about education, rap about, you know, it's like, why, why do you think they are so stuck to just, you know, this one thing, money, women, you know, afraid, so a lot of people are afraid to get in their own lane and be themselves. Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's so many sides of that. I mean, you know, they call hip hop the black scene in, or they call hip hop the, the neighborhood scene in. Hip hop was used as a tool of to talk about things that happened in the neighborhood that America didn't want to know about. And was, um, it also showed America's quote unquote the other side that you know the, the higher ups didn't want to think about or people didn't want to think they existed. And unfortunately, you know, those things exist money, sex, drugs, you know, from these certain neighborhoods or, or certain places, you know, whether it be this bad neighborhood or this neighborhood or, or a high polluted, high polluted rich neighborhood, these things exist. And and I can't tell a kid that you can't tell your story. Some of, we have to understand that some of these kids are telling their story. No matter if we come from it or not, no matter if we can relate or not, mm -hmm. some kids are telling their story. It is up to where, where it kind of falls off is it's not the story that you're telling; it's the skill of the story that you're telling. Um, and a lot of right. you know, a lot of kids, you know, I, I grew up off Mob Deep, okay, and Mob Deep wasn't a most positive <laughs> rap group, mm -hmm. but the thing about Mob Deep was. You know, the, the the culture side of it was the intricacy of the beats, the rhyme style, and the storytelling aspect of right, it. Right. What made a song like Drink Away the Pain work. So what made a song like Temperatures Rise and Works. I'm talking about this man in, from, from jail. So, I mean, everybody has a story and they have the right to tell it. I think what separates us is not the story that you're telling, is if your story is dope mm -hmm. or if your story is whack. And I've heard some cats talking about the neighborhood and peace and prosperity and doing right in the education and then music is garbage just because right. you're talking about right. education <laughs> it doesn't mean it's just like going on the apollo man when he used to go on the showtime the apollo back in the day and somebody wants to sing a gospel song because they don't want to get booed mm -hmm. no matter how bad they sound right. they never got booed and, and it doesn't it doesn't work sense. that way you know what i mean you have to be able to be good at this crap no matter if you're talking about guns drugs sex or whatever or if you're talking about education this and that it's all about being a dope MC or a whack MC. Mm -hmm.